sitting in the desk, hunched over, sore pain in the neck. Here we go today, we're gonna to talk about something that everyone really needs to learn about, especially these times here when we're hunched over our desk, is office ergonomics, work chair ergonomics, computer ergonomics. So I'm gonna give you the, the uh, nine steps that I use to in order to figure out how to set up my workstation properly. So if you've been complaining about a cranky neck because you've been working over the computer, or uh, you're just, uh, you know, your stiff upper back. Well, here, I have got some great tips for you. So, number one, the first place we wanna think about when you start to think about ergonomics and working at the computer, number one, is you set your chair up to the height of your desk. The first thing most of us do when it comes to setting up our chair, we get in our chair, we play with a lever on the side until our feet are flat on the floor. That is not the right place to start. Where you wanna start is the desk. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in your chair. You're gonna raise your chair up to the spot so that your forearms are sitting flat onto the desk. All right, so you've got a nice 90 degrees in the elbow and your forearms are almost flat on the desk. That's place number one. Now you might be somebody who's really, really tall or really short. This is where we have to make some trick, play some tricks. So if you're short and your feet are hanging in the air, well then go ahead and, and put a footrest underneath it. If you don't have footrest, you can get uh, some reams of paper, you can get an old phone book, for those of you who remember what that phone book is, or a box, put that under your feet so that your feet are firmly planted on the box or whatever you use for a stool. Number two, number two. Now we look at, or this is number three, sorry. Uh, number three is fix the distance of your monitor. So when you're looking at your monitor, you want your, your monitor to be, when you're sitting comfortably in your chair, you want your monitor to be right at your fingertips. So if you reach out to your monitor, your fingertips should just touch the monitor. Number four, now that we got the monitor at the right distance, now we want to get it at the right height. So the top of the monitor, kind of where the, the camera would be on a lot of desktops and laptops, is you want it that your eye, eyes to be looking straight at that, so you're not looking down at your monitor or, or looking up. So right at eye level, the top of the monitor. Now you say, what about if I've got two monitors? Okay, if you've got two monitors, you've got a primary monitor. Primary monitor should be right in front of you. Secondary monitor should be just off to the side so you're not having to turn very far. What if I look at both monitors at the same time or I'm looking at both monitors equally as much? You're gonna put them on a V shape so the middle of those two monitors is right in the middle of your eye line so you have just a very little shift side to side to see both monitors. That would also apply if say maybe you are you're, uh, copying from a written piece of paper, have them right in front of you so you're not having to turn your head too far. What about a laptop? Well, if you've got a laptop, well then you got a little bit of, of, of maneuvering to do. So either way, the screen should be at your eye level. So whether or not you get a secondary monitor and put that in behind it so that your eyes are at that right height, or you um, prop your laptop up onto a stand so it's easier to, uh, to see and then use a Bluetooth keyboard so your arms are at the right height. So that covers the monitor. Now we're looking at armrests. Armrests and keyboard. So for that, you want your, if you put your arms onto the desk so your elbows are at your side, they're sitting at 90 degrees, your forearms are flat onto the, the desktop. Now, wherever your hands sit, that's where your keyboard should be. We don't want to be reaching for the keyboard. We want the keyboard to be right there uh, with our elbows at our side. If you have an armrest on your chair, you should change those armrests so it's supporting the arms so they can stay flat with the desktop. All right, now, the mouse. mouse the mouse is number seven. So the mouse should be just off to the, the side of your keyboard so that when you move the mouse, it's all the movement is coming from your elbow. You're not kind of reaching out with your arm and your shoulder because that's gonna put a lot of strain up on the shoulder area and cause uh, fatigue up in the traps and shoulder problems down the road. So now we've gone through all that. Here's a key one, probably one of the most important ones. Move, set a timer uh, on your computer, on your phone, every 15 minutes, have it ding for you. And this is gonna remind you to move. How should you move? Number one exercise, chin tuck. Bringing the chin back in, tucking that in and holding that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Shoulder retraction, so pulling your shoulder blades back for doing a shoulder roll with the retraction. Again, these are gonna be great. And then a wrist roll every 15 minutes. Doesn't take long, but just do these whether you feel good or you don't feel good. All right, now, every 60 minutes, here's the next one. Every 60 minutes, when you're on the computer or at the desk, get up for at least two to three to four minutes 
and walk around. Maybe do some squats, maybe do some, some bending around, walk, get a drink, uh, go to the washroom, but make sure every hour, whether you feel good or not, get up and move. All right, now, this takes me to the sit-stand desk. So the sit-stand desk is a great option. I recommend if you've got to spend much time at a desk or at a computer, it is well worth the money you're going to invest to get a sit-stand desk. If you have questions, go ahead and either message down below and I can give you some direction on where to go. But sit and stand. How that should work is if you're on a call, you're on a, a, a Zoom meeting, uh, you're, you're, you're basically just not doing really intense mindful activity, stand up. Use that time to stand up, move around, and, uh, and uh, you know, use the standing portion of the desk then. When it comes to that real kind of hard thinking, challenging stuff where you've really got to concentrate, maybe you're, you're onto a word processing app or you're really doing a lot of that, that's when you can sit back down. So try to aim for about 40 minutes of sitting, 20 minutes of standing, and that should be a good kind of happy medium for you. Now, uh, the next thing we're looking at is the phone, okay? So I see this happen a lot is, you know, people, they always say you're right-handed, they put the phone on the right-hand side. So now you grab the phone, if you don't have a headset, and now you're like, oh, I'm talking to someone, I gotta write something down. So you pin the elbow, and you do that cradling, and you, and you try to write with your right hand. All right, so the phone should be on your non-dominant hand. That way, if you are right-handed, you can hold the phone with your left hand and write a quick note with your right hand. So those are my tips there. What I'm gonna encourage you is that if you're uncertain as to where your setup should be, Take have someone take a picture of you from the side in your work chair, have them take a picture from you kind of on an angle from the back as well, and go ahead and, and, and either personal message me with those pictures or just put it in the comments. I will do a complete evaluation of your ergonomics and uh, send that back to you. Um, many of you may not know, but I am ergonom ergonomic certified and I will be more than happy to provide that for you. So if you have others who need this information, go ahead, invite them to the group. I would be happy to uh, do that assessment for them as well. And I'm gonna try to provide as much good content for you on this. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day.